Hey everyone, I'm Sean, and uh, today I'll be leading you through a little at home uh, circuit workout. What you'll need for this is some kind of resistance. Uh, I've got a resistance band right here, but you can do dumbbells, kettlebells, milk jugs, whatever you got on hand, and then some dirty like stool or chair for uh, some of these exercises. So, first, start off, so you can jump in place. We're going to go on a little bit. Both moving. Adding arm circles. Up the shoulders a bit. Cool. Have to do the same time. Alright, I like the body up. Next, we'll be transitioning into high knees. Moving into those. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Bring up the intensity a little bit. This one's a little funny. Got a long carry. All right. Let me breathe. Step looks good. Those knees up. Alright, now we're moving into jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright. Starting off strong. Then we're gonna keep breathing. Hopefully, your space isn't as cramped as mine is. Doing good. So the ways to go to work, we're going to go into round one, which will consist of upper body. Move into round two, lower body, round three. We'll be working core, and then finish off Little cool down. Each one will have about five or six exercises. They do each exercise for about 45 seconds. Alright, now we come to stop. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab some water if you need it. Always remember to hydrate. Alright. So the first exercise we'll be doing. Our push ups. On the ground. Now, if you need to lower the intensity, you can do them on your knees, like this. Can you raise it? You can raise your leg up like that. Alright. And then we start. Three, two, one. Alright. A good start. Remember, don't let your hips sag. And keep breathing throughout this whole exercise. Right. Now, for the next one, we'll be needing a resistance band or whatever, whatever you have on hand. We we'll go into two uh, bicep curls. Get ready. Stand up in three, two, one. Grab your bands. Step in the middle. Or like step as evenly as you can. And also go throw off the resistance. Moving some bicep curls. Whew. Now if you need to uh, decrease the intensity a little bit, you can alternate arms like this. That way, you let each arm rest while the other one's working. Remember, stand up tall. Stand tall, stand straight. Keep breathing. It's a little easier for free weights, but don't throw your body into it like that. Keep it strict. Right. And for the next couple of exercises, we're keeping up, you know, whatever weight. 
whatever resistance you have on hand. So keep these on you. And next we're moving into uh, side shoulder raises. One of those. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So these, you know, just like this. So you lower the intensity a little bit. You can bend at the elbow. Uh, this doesn't really work with bands. <laughs> but if you have a free weight of some kind at the elbow, or you could alternate, it just feels a little awkward for some reason. But whatever, however you gotta do it. Just keep on doing it. Now we'll be moving over to uh, front raises, two more reps, one, two, right. now lift these, just go to the front, just like this, remember, stand strong, stand tall, keep breathing, don't let your body say out, no cheating, let your muscles do all the work, Lift your shoulders, all right, you're doing good, everyone. Good. Stay strong. All right. Feel that burn. Work them shoulders. All right. Next, we're moving over to uh, rear delt pulls or rear delt raises. I know what you got, so you can step off your bed now. If you're using, really like right around in the middle. Pull, lift it, or pull it just like this. If you have a, like a dumbbell or something, you don't want to bend over with your dumbbells like that. But if you have a band, you find just stand doing it like this. All right, you're gonna get started. Three. Two, one. All right. This is good because I'm sure if you're like me, you know, I've definitely been, been a lot more time sitting down, I'm sure over a computer, whatever it is, some kind of screen. I want to work these muscles a little bit. I'm used to being in that. Length in position, put them back in the shoulder position. All right, finish with these three, two, one. Oh man, all right. All right, for this next one, we'll grab whatever we got. I got a stool here, you can use the chair, uh, couch, maybe whatever is sturdy, won't be moving on you. Ideally, put it next to the wall for that extra stability. You know, on the edge of it. And we're gonna dip just like this. Get ready. Three, two, one. Last the triceps a little bit. Ideally, this is kind of narrow, makes it a little awkward. You don't want something that's a little wider. Man, right, what you got? As long as you're moving, moving's nice, you know? Just keep breathing, be strong. Fifteen more seconds. Ten, nine. Oh man, it's looking at me. Sorry guys. Three, two, one. Oh boy. Well, you guys are being as good work as I am. All right, so next we're going to be doing a bent over row. Work those back muscles. This will be our last upper body exercise that we do. So, again, in the middle, we got room for the curls. We're going to bend over at the, at the hips. Probably a 45 degree angle. Pull those shoulder blades back. Check the scapula. And pull. Right. Start with that. Three. Two, one. 
Alright. Make sure that even though you bend it over, you're not bending at the spine. Keep that back neutral. Don't carry that all over our spine. Very healthy and strong. Of course, breathe throughout the whole exercise. Making a habit of holding your breath. Alright, doing good everyone. Doing good. Alright, take a break. Three, two, one. Alright, so that's the rest of our, that's the end of our upper body workout. Now we're going to be moving on to the lower body. First, one. So for this, we start off with parallel squats. Get a stand that's comfortable for you. Find a little bit of arm in the shoulder width, and that's okay if yours is too. And then hinge up the hips, bend at the knees, squat down, stopping. Uh, no lower than parallel. Yeah, no lower than parallel. And then you do that 90 degrees. If you, uh, if you lower the intensity, you go a little higher than that. You stop at 45 degrees. There's good for you. All right, we're gonna be starting at three, two, one. All right, keep going, guys. That's all you got. Summer's coming. Only a few months away. You know what that means, right? Skies up, thighs up. Let's go. All right, doing good, guys. Keep that back flat. That next three. Straight out in front of you, don't look up. Some people look to do this. Nope. Just look straight at you, alright? Keep breathing. Keep that core brace. Alright, you know, moving over. We're doing some calf raises. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, so for this, you know. Stand up, stand tall. Use your calves like that. Whew. All right. Get ready. Go any more. Need to up the intensity. Do a little extra range of motion. You can stand on something. Like step. Move your guy elevate a little bit so that way you can drop your heels a little bit more. Raise a little higher. Or of course. You can a top squeeze if you want. So let's get that old squeeze in there. Emphasize that a bit. Stand tall. Back straight. Keep your lungs moving. Keep your breathing. Good, right. everyone. Good. Next, we're moving on lunges. Three more reps. One, two, three. Right, good job, guys. So for lunges, you don't need to stand behind a wall. It's not a lot of space to, to work with. One foot back. One foot forward. It might be good. Grab a chair, whatever you got, for a little balance. Sometimes I tend to pop over on these. But this is the stance. Kind of squat down. Move. All right. We're doing uh, 15 reps on one leg, 15 on the other. Doesn't matter what you start with. But we're gonna be starting. Three, two, one. All right. 15. This. I'm gonna do a uh, stand tall. Keep your hips straight. Some people might lean forward. Try like stand up. I think it's seven left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, change legs. Let's do it again. Oh, so ten, one. I'm 
almost there. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. And done. Okay. Next one we get a little challenging. We do some ball sets. Go ahead. You know, get your breath a little bit. Get behind a wall. Squat down. It doesn't have to be 90 degrees. You can go up, whatever's comfortable for you. Puts that stress on the squads. Here right. we start. Three, two, one. If you want to make this a little more intense, you can add knee lifts like that. Oh, just make sure you keep your back on the wall if you're doing that. It's so easy to sway your hips a little bit. Ooh. Try to keep your hands off your knees. I know it's tempting, but I always did that myself. Oh, your legs do all the work. Finishing this. A couple seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. All right. Get your breath. I'll show you what we're doing next. I'm going to grab what you got, stool, chair, or whatever. For this one, we have single leg deadlifts. So, I'm going to lift my leg up so my, my stool is on my right side. Use this for a couple of bounds. Ends at the hips. That left leg up. Squeeze the glutes. Bring yourself back up, stand tall. Three. Series. Get started on that. Three, two, one. That core brace, don't be rounding your lumbar spine, don't bend at the back at all. Keep that totally flat. Feeling good. One more rep, moving on to the other side. All right. Switch your chair to stool. And get ready. Go. Oh. Careful with these. I don't want nobody falling over. I almost just did myself. But give me two more reps. Oh. Two. Uh, for this next one, we're going to do a hip thrust. So, you need to get on the ground, lay on your back. Get a good view of me. Keep your knees bent. Well, back flat on the ground. Put your hands down so you got a nice sturdy base. You want to lift through your feet. Lift those glutes up. Just like that. Squeeze, squeeze them at the top. Should feel your hamstrings too. We'll get moving on these. Three, two, one. Right. Big squeeze at the top, guys. Big squeeze. Keep breathing. Keep that movement in your glutes. Should feel strong in these with these. Remember, guys, summer's almost here. Days are getting warmer. You gotta prepare for it. All right, doing good. Stay strong. Feel that burn. All right, we'll be finishing off these. Five, four, three, two. One last rep, hold it, squeeze, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, you want to go, stay on your backs. So for this next exercise, we're doing uh, single leg leg raises. So this, back flat on the ground again. If you take your hands, you can put them under, hopefully you can see me. You can put them under your back, your lower back. Uh, it'll take some of that stress off of it. 
but I'm just going to lift one leg up, get ready to get started, three, two, one, uh, work that core, all right, you can hold that with the top if you'd like, just feel a little bit more, The reason why we're doing a single leg, instead of both legs at the same time, is to try to keep that stress off of the lower back, put on your uh, hip flexors, your abdominals. All right, doing good guys. Finish up here. Do one more rep on each leg. One, two. All right, move from here. Going on the crunches. So cross your legs, lift them up. You can leave them flat on the ground. This is how I like to do it. Cross your arms. You ready? Move them now. All right. Remember to breathe. No nope. core exercises. Sometimes it's easier just to hold your breath. Might be easier. But that don't mean it's better for you. Alright. Doing good. Doing good. That'd be looking good. Alright. Keep it going. Almost finished with these. Give me 10 more seconds. Alright. Five, four, three, two. One. Oh. Now we got bird balls. We're sitting on the ground. Just turn over. Your hands and knees. Now for this, stay. You, you're lifting your right arm up, so your left leg goes up at the same time. All right. Just like this. Should be feeling it. Shoulders back. Move your glutes again. Get ready for this. Five, four, three, two. One. All right. So it doesn't matter what side to start on. All right, my space is a little cramped. Makes down knees a little awkward. But no matter. We'll find a way to do them all. All right. Doing good, guys. Everybody. All right, switching over. Other side. Three, two, one. All right. Ready? Start. All right. Remember to breathe. Keep your neck straight. In line with your spine. Neutral spine. Remember to brace. Not letting your not letting your hips sag. Alright. Doing good. Finishing up with these. Three, two, one. One more rep. Alright. So, that concludes our core. We're moving over to a little cool down. So, these. Try a little heart rate. Nice to like exercise. Step side to side. Take one arm. A little bit across from you. The other arm. Stretch up that shoulder a little bit. Try to keep your arm on the tricep. And on your elbow. You try to slow your steps a little bit as time goes on. Bring your body back down to that gentle heart rate. Right. Switching over to that arm. Three, two, one. All right. That's a good workout, everyone. Broke a little sweat from you. Hopefully, you did too. Oh, I'm 
workout kind of becoming more and more common. I don't know about you all, but I hate wearing a mask. I'm working out, so future going to the gym right now. Let's go to your tricep. Three, two. And we'll be stretching out the back. Oh, not the back, I'm sorry. Stretch out the chest a little bit. Open that up. Put your arms behind your back. Turn up your wrist. Alright. Lay down the steps. You can even stop if you'd like. I'm staying up tall with this. I just caught myself doing it. I like to punch my neck over. Not very good. Staying tall. Keep that neck straight. Just open. Alright. I'll go with this. Now it might be a good idea. Grab what you were using earlier or to stand up against the wall if you'd like, but I'm gonna be stretching our quads out. Use this a little balance. But it's also good to test the balance a little bit. Alright, hold that stretch. Breathe. Good job today. Legs. Alright, almost finished here. Stretch out this left quad. We'll move on back to the ground. And then we'll stretch out our hamstrings a little bit. And then I'll call that a day. So let's get another 15 seconds in. Breathe. Work the balance a little bit too, don't be scared. Alright. All good. Three, two, one. Leg down. All right. Back on the ground. One foot in. Hold on now. Reach for your toes. Try to feel it. Back part of your leg. Hamstrings. You might feel it in your calves a little bit if those are a little tight. We're gonna hold this. Deep breaths. Just feel your heart rate. Hold it back down. Might, might be around normal by now. Change the next leg. Three, two, one. All right. That last good stretch in there. Then we hydrate after this. Get a good meal in you. Take care of your body. Alright, finishing up here. More seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Relax. Stand up if you want. Shake it out. I'll see you next time. Oops.